All right, guys, so what is up? We are here with the last set of set 20, and then Giera starts for Japan in September. So we'll be going over some gear chronicles. Possibly next month to show you what you got to get ready for. Anyway, so the last set was everything we went over. Congratulations. We are done with Legion. Yay! Just we have to deal with Seekers, Blaster Joker for one set, but maybe more since this is Zero's format and locking is godly. So we might actually, Blaster Joker might help, 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 have more leeway in Zero's format. So I'm not going to put it past him. He might not be dead depending on how Gary Chronicle and Strides work, but we'll see. We'll see. Also, the leaders is a thing. So the leaders did come, and obviously they had to just to finish it up. But it's not the deleter we actually went over. It's not the Legion deleter. It's the normal deleter. So we got to go over that for this video. I know there's thunder. Prediction Emperor Dread Grog, Onik Overlord the Great, and Big Bang Knuckle Buster, which is just uh, Big Bang's cross ride where you put it in the soul, CB1, then you fight four units at once, etc. And that's about it for that. It's a Persona Blast Big Bang Knuckle, which is kind of weird, but I hopefully they update it with a crit maybe. If he gains a crit, that'd be nice. For the persona, that'd be nice. Anyway, so we already know, just to give you a refresher, Prominence Core, um, where's that? Yeah, Prominence Glare actually is the unit that becomes a glory when you call a unit from your deck by discarding a bluish flame and you gain a crit and a glory effect. Lysory Alfred gains a crit if you have all your seekers on the board. Also, you can CB2 to call a seek any seeker from your deck. And this also legions with Blaster Blade and Blaster Blade Seeker. Alfred Exavit can do all that stuff and gain a crit, so he's the crit pressure while riding the thing saver for game. Dauntless Deer Okazes, we are going to go over actually in this video because we actually did go over that. Starbear Blaster Joker was a lock your own unit, CB2. Soul Blast 2, lock everything, pretty much what Monarch Alfred is, but the opposite. You're locking everything your opponent has for CB2, etc., and a Soul Blast 2. That's where your soul comes in handy. We'll see if they edit that. Uh, Perdition Emperor Dragonic Overlord the Great just becomes Dragonic Overlord Break Ride without the limit break effect. So you can kill an intercept and technically get two attacks on Vanguard. And so on and so forth. And Big Bang Knuckler, like I said, is just a Persona unit, and that's that. So we're going to go over OKZ in this uh, video. Alright, guys. Anyway, so pretty much it looks like Blaster Joker might be a rank war because this is the championship printout. But keep in mind, they've done this before with Zenith. So obviously, we'll blast a Joker will be a rank season, so that's nice. Hopefully, it is. Obviously, it's gonna. It's already implied that's gonna be the next season, just to comply with the photon art. Obviously, that has to be a thing for even Zero's format in general. Anyways, now we're gonna go over Okis here. This is the actual banner unit, and what he does is you CB3, just CB3. Choose a rear guard and put it into your soul. Delete all of your opponent's vanguard. So pretty much lock the opponent's vanguard like a paralyzing effect. Then the delete unit's power becomes zero and it loses all attacks. It turns face up at the end of the owner's turn. Also, auto, at the beginning of your opponent's ride phase, if your opponent has a deleted vanguard, your opponent may choose a card from his hand and discard it. So pretty much, this is just, this guy has a backlash versus Legion, the Legion deleter. The backlash for this unit, your opponent's actually able to ride. The Legion says your opponent can't ride, so there's a difference between you can ride over it, but that's when stride Striding becomes a thing, and you can stride over the unit, and that's why they have the moving. Anyways, but yes, this unit's backlash is your opponent can actually get out of it by discarding a card and rewriting, so it's technically doing a mega colony play for CB3. Again, very awkward, especially when the Legion's 10 times better, since your opponent has to, can't ride over it. That was the best thing about the Legion deleter. It didn't have this last text saying your opponent's allowed to ride over the lock unit. The lock unit's there, your opponent can't ride over it, so that is good. Anyway, so that's that. So interesting enough, this is all of Legion, guys. They are done with Legion after set 20. We're heading into G-Era starting... Well, we're going to head into G-Era by January, apparently, because in August, we just start set 17. September 18, October 19, November 20, and then December 21. Yeah, we're going to start G-Era in global in 2022. So there you go. Now you know the schedule for us. We start Giera right when 2022 comes around. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. Y'all be good. Y'all stay safe. See you all another time. Peace out.